So, you finally arrived. Excellent. Here. See, there's just something wrong with it. It's incomplete. Do you see it? I imagined you would. And you will fill that void. Please, take a seat right here. Just sit comfortably and I'll direct your movement. Okay. You're going to need to lean back slightly and place an arm over your knees. Then you're going to look out to the water as if you're admiring the scenery. And you look fantastic, just like I imagined. If I could just... Could you shift the position of your hand slightly? The light would show better if... There. Like that. Perfect. I want you to stay still, but not look stiff or forced. Just natural. Do you think you can do that? Perfect. You shouldn't speak unless you need to. Don't misunderstand. Your voice is wonderful. Like a perfect melody. It's just that the way your face moves might cause errors in my portrayal. Thank you. The way the light reflects in your eyes makes them look a bit like gems. Hmm. The shape of your nose is quite unique. It has a nice slope to it. Masterpiece. You know that, right? You are like the perfect subject. Your lips. I would say they're delicate, but that word doesn't do them justice. You have a pretty nice smile, too. I find myself inspired by you. The longer I stare, the more I see all of your unique little features and how they fit together. I think I could paint you over and over again. I would still be able to find new, interesting things to study. The 
the way the light hits your skin, the color of your eyes, your hair. Everything about you is an artistic puzzle that's just begging to be dissected and understood. This painting is the perfect way to preserve this forever. Like taking a snapshot of this exact moment where everything around me just makes sense. I hope that you understand how special you are. Few people in this world possess such an ability to inspire. Really, I can't thank you enough for agreeing to be my model. You've allowed me to paint something truly beautiful. It's a strange sort of sensation. I'm almost hesitant to finish because I'd want to continue admiring you. What was that? You said, I can admire you as long as I wish. Well then, suppose I could ask you to model for me again. Oh, is that not what you meant? So you won't be modeling for me again then? So, you'll still model, but that isn't what you meant. Then, what did you mean? Less of a model, and more of... a muse. I can't say I understand what you're insinuating. Well then, I accept. Shh. Your voice is distracting me. I almost forgot that you're supposed to be quiet for the time being. still surprises me. How can someone look so ethereal without even moving? Your presence is just so entrancing, mesmerizing. I've painted many times, I've worked with many people, but I've never felt this way. I'd ask you why you think that is, but I fear I'll get distracted again. presence seems to make colors brighter. Everything about you is just so captivating. It feels like it isn't just through the lens of art I feel it, but something deeper. I'm not sure how to explain such a feeling.
sunlight is around you. The sunlight falls upon you. Everything about you draws my attention. Everything about you fascinates me. I want to keep looking at you until my eyes are tired, until time comes to a halt and all that exists is just you and me, just the two of us, existing in a space where nothing else matters, where nothing else exists, just the joy of the moment. I'm sorry. I think I was letting myself get a little carried away. <sighs> Here I was trying to paint you and I got distracted by you again. Why don't we take a break then? We can drop by Good Hunter. My treat. Then, let's head out. <laughs>